What comes to mind when you think of Scotland? Edinburgh, Glasgow. East and West, Scotland's capital city, Scotland's largest city. Two very different locations separated by 47 miles of Scottish country, as well as representation, culture and demographics. But are these two cities really so different from each other? Why are they so different? And what makes these two cities Scottish cities? I asked some Scots what they thought about the Scottish national identity of these two cities, and this is what they had to say. In my opinion, Glasgow is the best city ever that anyone can really go to. I think it's something absolutely everybody, from no matter where you come from, whatever background, I think that Glasgow is. It's quite specific in what you need to have when you go to Glasgow. I think you need a sense of humour, you need an open mind, and you also need kind of a thick skin because Glasgow, Glaswegians just aren't afraid to tell you what they think about you. Glasgow for me is the city of art. I've always been brought up in museums and I like walking around Glasgow and looking at the graffiti and seeing a lot of interesting new. I don't particularly go up there to shop much, it's mostly just to go up and people watch. <laughs> Glasgow is a thriving ground for culture. It's where you can go to get anything. What is Glasgow? It's a, it's a city. It's a cool. It's a place where all sorts of people of British culture can go to. As a Glaswegian myself, Edinburgh is... Well, I don't really want to see it. It's a really nice city because you're kind of not allowed to. But I do think that Edinburgh is a lovely city. But I think it lacks this kind of things that you love when you go to Glasgow, such as the sense of humour and the people. And I think it was Billy Conway that said Edinburgh is a city it's like an animal that looks pretty but's dead and Glasgow is like a, an ugly animal that's still alive which I think sums it up just perfectly. Edinburgh to me is a big tourist trap. I much prefer Glasgow over Edinburgh. It feels cliche for me and it wouldn't be my ideal choice to go on a day out. Edinburgh is a symbol of history. The Scottish nature itself, castles, because of bagpipes in the streets. It's basically if you want to think about Edinburgh, you think of Scotland. Edinburgh, Glasgow is here, Edinburgh is about here. Glasgow, if you went back, you'd be like, oh my god, I'm in Edinburgh. That's about as much as I know about it. When I think of Glasgow, I think of the people mainly. I think Glasgow has a certain characteristic when it comes to the population and the kind of people that you're going to meet. You're going to meet people from all sorts of different backgrounds, different jobs, and also just different senses of humour. Some people, they, they just go all out and say things that they probably shouldn't, and then some people are quite reserved. So I think in Glasgow, it's sort of, it's a whole array of different people that you're going to meet. Glasgow for me is culture and ethnicity and different people banding together to make this huge community that can make just about anything. And people got a wide variety of people around from like all over the world which is really nice to see in the city. Death, poverty, <laughs> despair, sadness, the V5 bar bar, student debt, it's a pretty cool place. When I think of Edinburgh, I think of a kind of grey city. Not as fun as Glasgow, I think it's kind of like the Canadian war for Scotland. It's kind of everybody works these sort of like business jobs. And I think it's kind of like a posh place as well. It's obviously they've got a completely different accent to what we have. So I think it's a grey city, kind of posh. And I don't think there's that much to do there, if I'm perfectly honest. Edinburgh for me is much the same as my thoughts for Glasgow, but there's more money put into Edinburgh than there is Glasgow, and you can tell by the surroundings and the people that live there. Castle, it's a monument of Scotland, everyone knows it, nails it in the world, and so I guess it's a fine joy of it. Student debt, debt, tragedy, sadness, and it also the deep five miles back. When I think about going to Glasgow, uh, I get kind of excited when I go to Glasgow because there's something new every single day. There's different people that you're going to see every day. It's not the same kind of people. There's all, always different events going on and just different things to see. So I kind of get excited when I go to Glasgow. And obviously as a Glaswegian myself, you think of the board of going to the same city over and over again. But I just think it's, it's always something to do and it's always really exciting. I love Glasgow. I would prefer really like to stay there when I'm older. I find this the main access point for traveling much as good as well because I do a lot of traveling on trains and I um, always feel comforted by Glasgow. There's never a moment where I feel like I could get lost. I know Glasgow probably better than Kilmarnock which is one town. Going to Glasgow it's 
it's a nice day out. You get like you know you can do whatever you want in Glasgow. If you want it like the shops, it's got it. If you need to go to a bar or something like that, it's got tons. Club in the federal. It's a challenge. It's a different kind of environment than you get in, in places like Ayrshire or Edinburgh. I think it's it's more grand and you get a different variety of people you would more kind of city folk, more of the stereotypical gloomy Scotsmen as well. What I think makes Glasgow a Scottish city, well apart from the, the accent which is what everybody, when you think of a Scottish accent you're more likely to think of the Glasgow accent than you were the Edinburgh accent. If we think Willie from The Simpsons, he's a perfect example of what you would expect coming from someone from Glasgow. I think just the, the accent, sense of humour that comes from Glasgow, it really sums up the kind of people that we as Scots are. What makes Glasgow a Scottish city is how rambunctious they are about their entertainment. Like um, you can walk down the main high street and there'll be like six or seven buskers just doing their own thing. And it's so entertaining but obnoxious and I think that's what makes Glasgow Scottish. The fact that it is in Scotland. Uh, for us, the people that all like really agree, like all have the same views of Scotland and stuff like that, allows them to like kind of like give us a rural but like this is Scotland, this is what it's really like in Glasgow. Besides the fact that it's in Scotland, it just has a very Scottish name to it, it's got a very cultural twang to it. You look at it and it just it screams the stereotype of Scotland, I think, and what people think we are, which I think is what's pretty good in that sort of. Scottish culture. What I think makes Edinburgh a Scottish city is the history that comes from Edinburgh. There's a lot of history in Glasgow and other cities but I think that a lot of history really comes from Edinburgh because Edinburgh is really the backbone of the Scottish economy really. It attracts a lot of tourism which I think if you're going to go to Scotland, if you're visiting from another country, you're more likely to go to Edinburgh because that's got the more history that you would associate with Scotland. I think what makes Edinburgh the Scottish city is the tourism aspect of it. It's mainly promoted as a tourist city, I guess because it is the capital city, but mostly because everything is so stereotypically Scottish, like you'll walk down the street and there will be bagpipes and kilts and it's nice to see where our heritage comes from, but it's a bit in your face sometimes. Like I said before, just the history of it, castles, big monuments and stuff like that, statues represents like what Scotland has been and what it is eventually become because of like what we came from. There's Scottish people in it. And there's history to it. I think that the, the, the place's history defines what it is in the modern day, so I think Edinburgh, like Glasgow, has got a lot to do with Scottish health, culture, and historical events, so that's got to be a Scottish city. Glasgow is more relatable than Edinburgh, I think, because if you're trying to make it in Edinburgh, everything's a lot more expensive, so you need a lot better jobs. Glasgow is a kind of, it's not a lower class city, but it's more for the everyday man, so the bin men or the accountants, everyone from ranging from a lower class to a high class Glasgow offers everything that anybody could ever need. I feel Glasgow's more relatable to me personally because it's more artsy and focused on entertainment rather than Edinburgh, which is all about. It feels a lot more grounded. It still has the same kind of culture and history as Edinburgh, but it just feels like it's real. And Edinburgh's a bit like a bit more elevated than what Glasgow feels like. It's we'll say. more people of different varieties go to Glasgow. It's the place you find to do different career types and different lifestyle choices, whereas Edinburgh is catered towards a certain type of demographic. As a Glaswegian, I don't necessarily think that Glasgow is more Scottish than Edinburgh. I think that both are pretty much on an equal level. It just depends what you're looking for when it comes to Scotland. If you're looking for the sense of humour and the kind of people that you want to meet, Glasgow is the place to go. If you wanted to make it in a sort of like business place, Edinburgh is the place to go. So I think it's kind of on a, an equal level. I think Glasgow is more Scottish for me now because I'm realising as I'm growing up more that Scotland for me is different ethnicities and and more culture coming in rather than just Scottish people. And for Edinburgh, even though their culture is there, the mixed cultures, it's not as vibrant as Glasgow is for me. I don't really think Glasgow's more Scottish than Edinburgh. I think Edinburgh's a little more Scottish because of like how much is being uh, happens in really like, culture wise. And, like, Glasgow is still a good city, but it's still like you know it just doesn't have that same kind of Scottish feeling that you see going down the street in Edinburgh and you hear the bagpipes you see in Edinburgh Castle. Look at the cultures I think. Glasgow has, has bred a far more diverse and identifiable breed of Scotsman than Edinburgh has. Glasgow!